Welcome to the lecture series of Fourier transform. In this video we are going to see problems based on Fourier inversion and Percival's and convolution theorem. So, that kind of problems we are going to see. Now, look at the question find the Fourier transform of f of x if f of x is equal to 1 mod x less than a 0 mod x greater than a greater than 0. Deduce that first one integral 0 to infinity sin t by t dt equal to pi by 2 and the second one integral 0 to infinity sin t by t the whole square dt equal to pi by 2. This is what the question. The questions of in this type that is uh, deduce 1, 2, 3 in that cases we have to go for the inversion, percivals and convolution. In that way you can make the identification of the problems. Now, first we have to find out for a transform for the f of x. After that we have to use inversion formula to get the result and then we have to use possible identity to get the second result. So, this is the procedure we are going to do. Now, look at the solution. We know that the definition of Fourier transform f of f of x is equal to 1 by root 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power i s x dx. This is what the definition of Fourier transform. So, the definition interval is minus infinity to plus infinity. In the question it is given that mod x less than a that means from minus a to plus a the function takes the value 1. In the remaining places it takes the value 0. So, this interval can be written as 1 by root 2 pi integral minus infinity to minus a plus minus a to plus a plus a to infinity. We can split the integral as 3 intervals. The first one and the last one will become as 0. Only in this interval it takes the value 1. So, 1 by root 2 pi integral minus a to plus a f of x is 1. So, 1 into e power i s x dx. So, now we have substituted our f of x. Next step we are going to integrate this and applying the limit. So, 1 by root 2 pi integration of e power i s x is e power i s x divided by i s with the limit minus a to plus a. Now, 1 by root 2 pi 1 by i s into for this x we are applying the limit as a. So, e power i a s minus e power minus i a s upper limit is plus a and lower limit is minus a. Now, we, we know that a result that e power i theta minus e power minus i theta equal to 2 i sin theta. So, this is what the result. So, in this place instead of theta we have a s. So, this can be written as 1 by root 2 pi into 1 by i s into this is nothing but 2 i sin a s. Now, we can cancel the i and this can be written as root of 2 by pi sin a s divided by s. This is our first part of the question find the Fourier transform of f of x. This is nothing but function of s. This is the first part of the problem. Now, to prove the second one that is the direction part we have to use the inversion formula. So, using inverse result using inversion formula we know the inverse formula what is that f of x is equal to 1 by root 2 pi integral minus infinity plus infinity f of f of x into e power minus i s x ds. This is what the inversion formula. This f of f of x is nothing but the first answer which we got in the first step. So, we have to substitute that here. So, 1 by root 2 pi integral minus infinity plus infinity f of f of x that is our f of s answer. What is that? Root of 2 by pi into sin a s by s. This is what the answer for f of f of x into what? Into e power minus i s x ds. So, now we have substituted our f of f of x. Now, in the place of e power minus i theta can be written as e power minus i theta can be written as cos theta minus i sin theta. So, based on that result this can be written as now here you can cancel the root 2 and root 2. 
root pi into root pi can be written as pi. So, which is equal to 1 by pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity sin a s by s into cos s x minus i sin s x into d s. Now, we can split it as 2 integrals. So, 1 by pi integral minus infinity plus infinity sin a s by s into cos s x d s minus i integral minus infinity plus infinity sin a s by s sin s x into d s. So, now we are going to integrate this. So, here cos sin a s by s cos s x and here sin a s by s into sin s x minus infinity to plus infinity that is minus infinity to plus infinity function is odd we know the result is 0 and minus 2 plus function is even then the result is 2 times of the integral. So, now we know very well that cos is a even function and sin is an odd function. So, obviously this result will become as 0 and this we can write it as 2 times of the integral. Hence cos is an even function we can return this one as 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity sin a s by s cos s x d s sin is an odd function. So, minus into plus infinity that value will become 0. Now, according to the deduction part 1 we can take the integration to the left hand side. So, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin a s by s into cos s x d s equal to we will cross multiply this which is equal to pi by 2 into f of x. Now, look at our question. In the question we have only sin t by tai, sin t by t in the question. So, here there is nothing in this place, only we need sin t by t. So, according to the answer, we have to make this place as 0 to uh, sorry, this place to be 1. To make this uh, place to be 1, we have to put x is equal to 0. So, put x is equal to 0 in the above equation, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin a s by s cos 0 value is 1 ok into d s equal to pi by 2 f of 0. So, this value will become 1. So, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin a s by s d s equal to pi by 2 f of 0 value is f of 0 equal to 1 because it is given in the question f of x is equal to 1 when mod x greater than 0 also. So, that is 0 equal means it is equal to 1. So, pi by 2 into 1. So, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin a s by s d s equal to pi by 2. Now, we are going for the substitution. What is the substitution? Put a s equal to t. So, which implies s is equal to t by a and d s equal to d t by a. Whenever we are giving the substitution, we have to check the limit also when s is equal to 0 which implies we have to substitute s is equal to 0 here which implies t equal 0 and when s is equal to infinity implies t equal to infinity. So, what is the new limit? New limit is also 0 to infinity. So, from that substituting the substitution. So, 0 to infinity sin a s is equal to t. So, sin t by s is equal to t by a. So, t by a into d s equal to d t by a which is equal to pi by 2. So, this a and a will be cancelled. So, which implies 0 to infinity sin t by t into a d t by a equal to pi by 2. So, this a and a will cancel which implies integral 0 to infinity sin t by t d t equal to pi by 2. This is what our first part of the deduction. So, now we are going for the second part of the deduction. For the second part of the deduction, we are going to use the Percival's identity. So, the Percival's identity is Percival's identity is we know the Percival's identity integral minus infinity plus infinity modulus of f of x the whole square dx equal to integral minus infinity plus infinity 
modulus of f of s the whole square into ds. This is what the Percival's identity under the Fourier transform. We have our f of x and we have our f of s. So, we have to substitute both the values in this place and we can integrating that we can get the answer. And in the question f of x is given in the interval minus a to plus a. So, in the interval minus in when you are going to substitute the f of x, we have to concentrate the limit in the question. In the question the limit is integral minus a to plus a f of x is 1. So, 1 the whole square into dx equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity modulus of f of s that is we have got it in the first answer that is root of 2 by pi sin a s by s the whole square that is the modulus of f of s the whole square into d s. So, f of x is given in the question and f of s we have got it in the first answer. So, in the left hand side integration of d x is only x when you are applying the limit minus a to plus a and which is equal to when you are squaring this we can get 2 by pi outside and integral minus infinity to plus infinity sin a s by s the whole square into d s. So, from this we can take the integration to the left hand side. So, which implies integral minus infinity to plus infinity sin a s by s the whole square d s equal to pi by 2 into 2 a. So, we can cancel the 2 and this can be written as sin a s by s the whole square is a even function. So, that can be written as integral 0 to infinity sin a s by s the whole square into d s equal to pi a. So, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin a s by s the whole square d s equal to pi by 2 into a. Now, we are giving the substitution as put a s equal to t which implies s is equal to t by a d s equal to d t by a. Whenever we are giving the substitution look at the limit also when s is equal to 0 implies t equal to 0 when s equal to infinity implies t equal to infinity. So, this implies integral 0 to infinity sin a s a s equal to t. So, sin t divided by s is equal to t by a whole square into d s equal to d t by a which is equal to pi by 2 a. Now, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin t by t the whole square into a square d t by a equal to pi by 2 a. So, we can cancel the a. So, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin t by t the whole square a into d t equal to pi by 2 a. Here also we can cancel the a. So, which implies integral 0 to infinity sin t by t the whole square d t equal to pi by 2. So, this is what the second part of the question. Thank you for watching.